For decades, raw sewage has discharged largely untreated into Cork Harbour, the second largest natural harbour in the world. Such that by 2014, the equivalent of 40,000 wheelie bins of raw sewage from Ringeskiddy, Carrigaline, Crosshaven, Passage West, Monkstown, and Cove was being discharged largely untreated through 34 outfalls into the harbour every day. This practice was in breach of national and European legislation, in particular the Urban Wastewater Treatment Directive. Prior to the establishment of Irish Water, Cork County Council had, in an effort to stop this unacceptable practice, secured planning permission for the Cork Lower Harbour Main Drainage Scheme. This ultimately comprised of a new wastewater treatment plant at Chambally to treat population equivalent of 80,000, 14 pumping stations, 30 kilometres of new sewers and a subsea pipeline from Cove to Monkstown. The challenge that faced the Irish Water multidisciplinary team in 2014 was delivering the project as fast as possible and with the least amount of disruption to the Lower Harbour communities and businesses. The project was broken into a number of phases, promoting a culture of safety, innovation and collaboration throughout. This approach allowed us to deliver wins on an incremental basis and tailor each phase with separate contracts, statutory processes and contract management. This also involved securing two amendments to the Strategic Infrastructure Planning Permission, as well as two compulsory purchase orders and two foreshore licences. In the first phase, we built the Shambelly Wastewater Treatment Plant, going from a greenfield site to a fully operational plant within 18 months. And the plant uses Narita state-of-the-art technology. And so by the end of 2016, we were treating 20,000 of the 40,000 wheelie bins daily. In the second phase, we built new sewer mains connecting the towns of Ringeskiddy, Crosshaven, Carrigaline, Monkstown, Passage West and Shanbally to the treatment plant. We consulted extensively with the local communities and wherever possible adapted our designs in response to their feedback. For example, the construction and sinking of a large box case and pumping station in Monkstown. So by 2019, we were treating 30,000 wheelie bins of sewage daily. The last phase was to connect the town of Cove on the north side of the harbour to the treatment plant on the south side. We completed two of the largest directional drills ever undertaken in the country, each one over a kilometre long, 750 millimetres in diameter. The completion of the Cork Lower Harbour Main Drainage Project is a significant milestone in Irish Water's work to eliminate the discharge of raw sewage in Ireland. It means that 20,000 businesses and homes are now connected to the scheme. The equivalent of 40,000 wheelie bins of raw sewage is no longer discharging raw into the harbour, but now being treated at Shambhali in accordance with the Urban Wastewater Treatment Directive. The work will support economic growth and development in the area, increasing the potential for tourism and recreational activities, and enhancing the fantastic amenity that is Cork Harbour for all of us.